Welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday, the 17th of November, 2021, when we're thinking this evening about waiting for the Lord and keeping in his way. Let us pray. Lord, in the quietness of this evening, in the darkness of this night, grant that we may be aware of your presence. Fill us with your love. Help us to know your grace. Loving your light, O Lord, may our hearts rejoice in your goodness. Living in your light, may our lives reveal your grace. Walking in your light, may our works reflect your glory. So may we wait for you, Lord, and walk in your way. Amen. From Psalm 37, reading verses 30 to 40. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and the tongue of the righteous speaks what is just. The law of God is in his heart, his feet do not sin. The wicked lie in wait for the righteous, seeking their very lives, but the Lord will not leave them in their power, or let them be condemned when brought to trial. Wait for the Lord and keep his way. He will exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you will see it. I have seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like a green tree in its native soil, but he soon passed away and was no more. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Consider the blameless, observe the upright. There is a future for the one of peace, but all sinners will be destroyed. The future of the wicked will be cut off. The salvation of, right, of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in times of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Thanks be to God for his word. The psalmist encourages us to wait for the Lord and to keep the Lord's way. The psalmist encourages us that even when difficulties come, we can know that our God upholds us and we can take refuge in his presence. So this evening, friends, wait for the Lord. Keep his way. His ways are love, peace, hope, justice. Keep his way. And when things turn against us, when people seem at odds with us, let's find our refuge in God, for in him we can restore peace, justice, hope and love. Let's listen then to the anthem by S.S. Wesley, Lead Me Lord.
And now let us pray for those on our hearts and minds this evening. For those who are living in turmoil, whose lives feel as if they've been turned upside down. Lord, grant them your peace. May they find refuge in you. Let's pray for those who are struggling with loneliness and isolation. Lord, come into their space, fill them with your love and your peace. May they take refuge in you. We pray for those who are in hospital or hospice or ill away from home this evening time. Lord God, fill them with your grace and your healing. May they find refuge in you. And in the quietness, we bring to God those prayers and concerns of our hearts. May those for whom we have prayed find refuge in your love and grace, O God. And we join our prayers as one, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of the Lord be with you, with those for whom we have prayed and with all God's people this evening time and forevermore. Amen. Good night and God bless and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow evening.